Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to Mudlocks made by Cloak and Dagger Games. Now, this game has been in my lit to playlist for a while, and I'm actually very curious what it's about, so without further ado, let's get started. Mudlock. Now, a person who scavenges in river mud for objects of value. Oh. London, UK. Okay. Um, hello there? Let's see, what can I do? Oh, maybe that clock means I, I have to wait. Found anything decent, Vincent? Well? Oh, not really. A lot of stems, but nothing patterned. I found a reasonable clay pipe bowl. Cool, man. This weather is getting atrocious, though. Yeah, I think we should head to the pub soon. My hands are freezing. Oh, maybe they should have a British accent. But I don't know if I can do that. For centuries, people have been coming here to, to, to the banks of the River Thames to try their luck at uncovering treasures from the mud and filth. It's called a Jutter in Dutch. These people like us, mudlarkers, as we are known, have found all sorts of things down here. From valuable jewels, to suits of armor, statues of Roman deities and other such wonders. But these days pickings are few and far between and far between. I'm more likely to prick my finger on a hypodermic needle than uncover a musket. That's bad. It has been another fun day of mudlarking. But we've only got a few broken clay pipes to show for it. The wind is really starting to pick up. We should probably think of heading off now. There's a cold bite to the air and the tide will be rising soon. Would you like a tutorial on how to play mud? Yes, I would. If it's not interesting, I'll just skip it for you. Okay, well the tutorial was very basic. It's just pretty much a point and click game. I can walk to things. I can look at things let's see to further down the shore what's this a boy i can't interact with that to further down the shore let's go there i'm sorry i hope you can't hear those notifications we should really be heading back now it's not safe to mudlock when the tide is coming in all right sorry about that i had to uh, close down some windows okay we should head back now let's talk to vincent Other things? Can I, can I... Let's see, what do I have? A clay pipe and a broken clay pipe stems. The fruits of mud logging, it's an old clay pipe. The stem is broken off, but it's in pretty good shape for something that's about 400 years old. Let's see, so I don't think that's anything I can use right now. Let's see, I can save the game. Okay, that's good. It's Vincent, my friend and fellow mudlocker. Oh, I can... Oh, never mind. I can... No romantic embra embraces, please. No, okay. I can touch him. I can talk to him. So with the scroll wheel, I can do that. I'll probably read that in the tutorial, but I probably wasn't paying attention enough. It's getting pretty cold out here. What was that? Yeah, I think we should head back now. There was something yellow in the top screen. Well, behind you, did you see that shooting star? See, I'm not blind. Damn, missed it. It was pretty quick. Anyway, it's a shame we didn't find anything monu monumental today. One day, Winnie, one day we'll find something big. I know it. Fingers crossed, a nice Roman jock, perhaps. Wouldn't that be grand? Maybe even worth a few grand. Okay, let's go to the pub. Just a tick. Taking it all in. So I'm headed off to the pub. Come on, Slowpoke. Hold on a moment, he's having an existential moment. Meet you at the pub. Oh, I'm supposed to wait, okay. 
What have you... And you're off to the pub as well? Oh, you found something. Hmm? What is that? Oh, that's a locket with... Wait for me. A locket with what looked like two women. It looked like she had a, a bridal thing. We call it a wreath. A wedding wreath. Mutlocks. Oh, this is my house? Two days later. I kind of like the style of this game. Well, my love, I better be going to work now, I suppose. What are you doing today? What are you going to do today? I'm sorry, the British. I think I might call Vincent and ask if he wants to go mudlogging again. You only went a couple of days ago. I know, but he really found something last time. What did he find? All you guys seem to find are those shitty broken pipes. You mean historical, fascinating, incredible broken clay pipes? Of course. All I can say is if Vincent had a girlfriend to give it to, she would be a happy lass. Why? It's a piece of jewelry. A locket. From what I briefly saw of it, it seems to be made of gold and looks very old. Why can't you ever find anything like that for me? A nice brooch or something. But look at all these beautiful clay pipes and ceramics I have found for you. Yes, my love, they're great. But yes, so he found actual jewelry. That's incredible. It is amazing. Sorry, I really have to be going now. Jerry will be on my case if I'm late. Okay. I've left you a muffin on the table. Enjoy your leisurely day. Leisurely day? Okay, I hope that's good. Okay, nice. Thanks. I wish I had a week off work too. See you tonight. Have a good day. You too. See you later. I might take this muffin before I forget. Yes, wouldn't want to miss out on a muffin. Blueberry. Not my favorite, but I will have it later. I love blueberries. I just ate some blueberries. What I really want is the full English. What better way to start my holiday than a newspaper and a greasy fried breakfast? Oh, I hate British breakfast. No offense, but it's the worst. I'll give Vincent a call when I'm here. I wouldn't mind another mud locking session today, and I need to hear more about his locket. I can't believe one of us actually found something that could be genuinely valuable down here. Speak of the devil. It's Vincent calling. Alright, mate. Hey, man. Okay, what's up or ask about the locket? Uh, let's be friendly first, what's up? What are you doing right now? Not much, I was going to have breakfast. Do you want to come mudlogging with me? Yes, I do. I was actually going to ask you the same thing. This locket is incredible. We need to have another look down there. Have you found out anything else about the locket? I've shown a couple of people and they both think that it is made out of gold. Really? Really. The chain is missing. But I have this crazy feeling that if we search around where I found the locket, we might find it. That's a long shot, but worth a look. Yeah, definitely. Let's see, ask more about the lockets, ask about the photos inside, or go back. Oh, go back to the shore. I thought maybe go back in the conversation, but... Um, I would like to know about the photos inside. What do you think about the photos inside? The photos inside look genuinely old. They definitely do. I wonder who they are. Not a clue. All we have at the moment is that they are an older woman and a younger woman. Yes, yeah, see two women. It's fascinating, isn't it? To try and imagine who those people are. Ah, the joys of mudlarking. Uncovering these stories. I really want to find out who they are, but I will tell you more about that later. Whatever the story, we have found something that is actually valuable in monetary terms. Hell yeah. Let's see. Ask more about the locket. How old do you think the locket is? It's hard to say. 
These aren't any maker's mark- there aren't any maker marks on it or anything. Nothing at all? Nope. The only thing unusual about it is that there is a bit of a groove on the back of it. Maybe we could take it to someone who might be able to tell us more about it. That's a great idea. Let's see, can I do that again? Have you found out anything else about the locket? I've shown a couple of people- oh, that's the same thing, sorry. Okay, what to do next? So what shall we do? Meet me down at the river in an hour, at the entrance. We will take it from there. Shall I bring anything? Please bring your metal detector. We can search the area around where I found the locket and hopefully we can find the chain. Oh, more lockets. Indeed, isn't it exciting? We have finally found something. It is so great. Even if we don't find anything else, we need to take this locket somewhere to be examined. Totally. I'm sure someone will help us find some more info about it. So, hang up. Cool man, see you in a bit. Please remember to bring the metal detector. No problem, I'll get it now. See you soon. Cheers, see ya. I had better find a metal detector. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. We had a robbery lately, lately and ever since then, Laurie has gone mad with security, hiding things away. I have no idea where she's put it. Let's see, check under the bed. I don't think it has much to say. Oh, I can... See, oh, that's right, I need to get used to that. There's nothing under there. We used to store some things there, but then they got all moldy, so not anymore. Why did they get moldy? There's probably more bacteria growing in there than there are people in the whole world of London. In the whole of London, I'm sorry. So that explains the mold. You're just disgusting. See, anything about that kettle? I don't feel like a cup of tea right now. Tea bags? I don't need to take this with me. Okay, what about my goldfish? I've always had a thing against people who tap on the glass of fish, thanks. It disturbs the fish. Hello, Nippy. Nippy's not very talkative. Let's look at it. It's my dear fish, Nippy. I've had him for about 10 years. Damn, 10 years! Nothing more soothing than sitting and watching this little chap swim around in his leafy surroundings. My grandma used to have a fish. It was a bit of a suicidal fish, but a fish nonetheless. A stray sock. It would jump into the trash. This drawer is locked and contains a few of our valuables. Since the robbery a few months ago... This drawer contains old bills and paperwork. Various odds and ends. What I was about to say, the fish would jump out of its uh, tank and would go into the trash and you would hear it go... And then you would have to go and save it. But that thing lived forever. Lori is always leaving her handbags everywhere. A girl can't have enough of them, apparently. No, they can't. There's no such thing as too many handbags. I can smell it from here and it's not pretty. The laundry can wait. You live in slander, man. I don't think it would. she would appreciate me rummaging around in her bag. Oh well, let's have a look then. Oh, you are gonna do it anyway. Good. Water bottles, makeup and a small selection of coins. She wouldn't mind if I couple of borrow pounds. If I borrow a couple of pounds. Sorry, I don't know if I said that right. There's nothing of note in here, banana peels and used tissues. It's too cold to open the windows. Anything significant outside? A view of the messy garden at the back of our flat. This is where I keep my treasures. Fossils and things found when mudlarking. I would actually like to do that sometime. Mudlarking, I mean. Let's have a closer look. Oh yes, those are those little pipes. This is a fossil of a type of tribolite called Elathria. This example is around 500 million years old. See, I love that kind of stuff. Clay pipe stems. My dad mentioned that he often found those. I've collected these whilst mudlarking with Vincent over the last few months. The shore of the Thames is littered with thousands of them, but I still like to keep a few. Some of these are over 400 years old. Clay pipe balls. These are clay pipes, the bread and butter of the mudlarker. Hey, there's a key over there. The pipes were the cigarettes of their time, popular from the 1500s throughout the early 20th century. Millions were thrown into the Thames, Thames over t this time by, by dock workers, ferrymen, and other riverside workers. In all my time mudlarking, I've never found one that is fully intact. All of these have broken stems, but otherwise are in decent condition. 
I really try and find ones that have pattern or markings, as these are a bit rarer. Some of them displays marking stems, meaning you can trace them and find their exact age. Some of, some of the ones here are almost 500 years old. That is interesting, but I see a key here. Here it is, the key for the drawer. Laurie really outdoes herself with these security measures. Well, I think she's right. I don't want to mess them up. No, you're right. Let's have another look at this. This is a type of crystal called Desert Rose Gypsium. I think I have one of those. It's supposed to have healing properties, but I don't really believe in that new age crap. Now me neither. A shark tooth. It's a fossilized shark tooth, several hundred million years old. I can't imagine that this wouldn't be valuable. S Spinosaurus tooth. Or maybe you're just being sarcastic. Maybe you're just... N no. I only paid seven dollar for this in the shop in Edinburgh. Something tells me that perhaps this is in fact the tooth of a dog. Yes, I was about to say. Ammoniac. This is a fossil of an ammoniac. Very common, but nice. Broken ceramics. The Thames is full of old broken ceramics and pottery from the last few hundred years. Whilst they are absolutely worthless, I'd like to keep a few of the prettier pieces. This is a cherry pipe from the 19th century. It was a gift from a good friend. Alright. So this game is going to be very dialogue heavy, obviously. Which I don't mind, but just so you know. I do like these type of games. It reminds me a little bit, quest style a little bit of the cat lady. It's my mp3 player. I haven't got many songs on this at the moment, just a few tracks of incidental music I've been working on for a friend's project. Let's see, do I need that? Oh, I turned it on. But I have a key, which I would love to use. See, I got some coins, I got a blueberry muffin, I got an oyster card and a clay pipe. I would like to use this on the drawer. How do I... Oh, uh, exit. There we go. Can you use it on that? That did the trick. It's unlocked. That's a funny idea. But, no, I'm trying to put it back. So, drawer. Here it is, my metal detector. It would fit in a drawer? I thought those things were really big. I'm not entirely sure why this was locked in the valuables drawer. It only costs $10. It certainly is useful though. Vincent and I have found a few old coins under this down on the Thames. The drawer is locked. Oh, you locked it back. Good. I wanted to lock it again because I got a feeling. Let's see. I don't feel like going to bed right now. Bookshelf. I don't feel like reading a book right now. Maybe later. Alright, I think that's all I can find here. So I guess walk over here and go at the door. There we go. After a surprisingly smooth tube journey, this is fiction. Let's see. Hello, pigeon. That's not normally a bird I would be chasing after. All right, because girls are birds in London. One of the London's feathered citizens. I don't think it has much to say. Ah, oh, you, you know, could always try. Do another person here? The door is locked. Okay. I can't do. Oh, right. I I need to get used to the selection method because. I better not go down to the shore without Vincent. No, okay, because Vincent is right over here. Is there anything here? No. Okay, let's talk to Vinny. Oh, let's talk to him. There we go. Hey, man. Just crawling behind you in the corner. Winnie! Good timing. I just got here. Yeah, I took the tube. No dramas on the northern line today. That makes a change. Are you okay? You look a little tired. I'm okay, just didn't get much sleep last night. Vincent looks a bit weary and almost troubled. I'll ask him when we get to the shore. Did you bring along the metal detector? Sure did. Despite Laurie locking it away, I managed to find it. 
that girl. I wonder if I would have been able to go out the door without the metal detector. Let's put this baby to use then. Let's see if we can uncover something else. This locket is the real deal. I really hope there's something else there. The chain or even more lockets. Shit, my phone is rigging. It's probably Ro Laurie. Just go ahead and I will meet you down there. Okay, man. See you in a bit. Let's find some treasure, bitches. Hello? Hey. Just giving you a quick call to say I'll be late home tonight. Drinks with the girls after work. Oh, no worries. They'll probably head up with Vince for a few beers. I'll probably hand up... I'll probably head up with Vince for a few beers after we finish mudlocking anyway. Thank you. Cool. Well, have a good time. Thanks, you too. I hope you find some treasures. Me too. See you later. Bye bye. No I love you, no kisses, no nothing? I better catch up with Vincent. Alright then. Uh, let me check on my recording. Alright, I don't exactly know how long this game is going to be, but I got a full episode worth of content right now, I think. So I'm going to end this here and I'm going to continue this in the next video. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description so you can play it for yourself. I really like it up until now. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Arrow keys? Oh, I can move... Oh, okay. Drippy. I assume that's a coffee mug. There we go. I got a mug.